Hello, welcome to CSWE Spark. I'm your online community manager and virtual tour guide, Malcolm. Today I'm going to walk you through how to join CSWE Spark by creating an account, as well as how to join a community and post content. Let's get started, shall we? First thing you'll want to do is click the blue sign in button here at the top right hand corner of the homepage to access all that Spark has to offer. If you already have an account, great. Just type in your email and password, click the blue login button here, and you're in. If you can't remember how many capital letters or special characters you added to your password, click the link labeled can't access your account. Enter the email address associated with your account and click the blue button labeled send password link. Within minutes, you should receive an email prompting you to create a new password. Make sure to check your spam or junk mail just in case. To create a brand new account, click the link labeled new user slash register now. Fill in the information starting with your email address, first and last name, etc. The red asterisks here indicate which fields are required to create a new account. Once you've completed the form, click Create Account. Within minutes, you'll receive a verification email to activate your profile. Click the link here, and you'll be directed to a brief thank you page. This page simply notifies you that your account is in the process of being approved. Once your account is approved, you should receive an email like this. Click the link here to jump right back to your profile. From here, all you have to do is sign in. Read the terms and conditions. And agree, or do not agree, but agree. And from here, you can edit all the aspects of your profile, from adding social links, to updating your bio, your education and job history, and even import your information from LinkedIn. Now it's time to join the community and spark some conversation. Click Communities here on the navigation bar. You'll notice a few links listed immediately. The My Communities shortcut is particularly important once you've joined a number of communities. But since we haven't joined any yet, I'm going to click All Communities here. From this page, you can sort, filter, and select which communities you'd like to be a part of. There's even shortcuts to join if you see something that immediately catches your eye. Once you click on a community, you are immediately routed to the community homepage, which displays snapshots of recent activities, like how many discussions and library entries there are, as well as how many members may have joined. To post a discussion, make sure that you join the community first. If you attempt to post a discussion without joining, you'll be automatically prompted to join anyway. When you join a community, you can immediately set your notification settings, whether you want to receive messages in real time, a daily digest, which is a wrap up of the content for the day, plain text, or if you want to opt out entirely. Once you choose, just click join a community. Now you're able to see all the content in one particular community. From here, there are three ways that users can post content. One, click the navigation item labeled participate and then click post a message. Two, click the green add button next to the latest discussion widget on the community homepage. Or three, head on over to the discussions tab and click the green button labeled post new message. The interface is similar to an email format. Two, reflects which community your message will live. If you wanted to live in more than one space, there's an option for cross-posting, which I will cover another time. The subject line is the hyperlink heading that appears in the discussions list and on the latest discussions section of the homepage. This box is where the magic happens, where you can craft and format your message. The top row contains your basic text formatting options including alignments, listings, and special characters. The bottom row houses the fun stuff, where you can add an image, embed a video, and even incorporate tags. 
You can also attach files to your message for added content. Once you're done crafting and formatting, you have a couple options. You can either publish it now, schedule to publish it at a later date, or just save it for later. And voila, that's how you join Spark and post content. We hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions or technical difficulties, contact us at spark at CSWE.org. Bye-bye now.